Yeah, my dear, back with Labyrinthatory. I think I pronounced that right. <laughs> we're just gonna continue right where we left off. We more or less finished this area. We, there's still a lot of locked gates. There was like a greenhouse to the bottom right of this area. We're still missing two keys, but this path is open for us. I've collected a decent amount of batteries. It feels like I'll be able to get through the battery meter and into the mansion now. So we haven't even got into the mansion yet. We're just basically in the hedge maze. So we got a vending machine here. Fun fact of the day: the earliest known reference to a vending machine is in the work of Heron of Alexandria, who created a machine that accepted coins and dispensed holy water. Okay. There's a, I, I want to. There's a. Is that a? Are you floating or are you in the water? What's down there, I wonder? Curse these human legs. I want to rescue one inside the pool, but I need to find a way to breathe under Oh, so I take it I can't swim. <laughs> Duck placing. Oh, there's a, a crocodile or alligator? Hmm. Zoning. So I don't know if... I, mean, I assume there's going to be backtracking because there's... There's walls that can be broken down in previous areas. So we can do this, I think. So we need this as well. 40, 45. So we can only afford one of these. I think the sledgehammer will be more beneficial for now. So I'm gonna purchase that. Oh, there's nothing, nothing to stop me now. There's all on my way, I'll break it down. And we'll get the we'll get the other ones later. So let's actually solve this. Name a popular four-letter sport that starts with a T. Golf. <laughs> Almost got me there. So we, we have 40 now, so we can actually just buy the the snorkel if we wanted to. What do you want to bet one of these palm trees is just a cell phone tower? <laughs> Maybe? But before we go to these puzzles, let's just backtrack and... Because there's a chest here as well. Boom. Neato burrito. Oh, I said that wrong. Neato burrito. Some treasure. Looks like I got one battery. So what's... Was there anything significant to this? I totally forgot. And we still can't get through the... The lock gates now. We can't break... I don't think we can break them with the hammer. Oh, we already did the pathfinding. So let's see what's this. Oh, we can't interact with it. Yeah, so let's go back into the corn maze. Oh, we can actually, we can't even actually go through the corn maze, okay. But there are, there's a lot, there was a lot of walls that we can break down, so might as well break down to give it shortcuts and whatnot. Okay, I don't know if I'm missing, I'm missing this part, but that is a teleporter, so I guess we're gonna. <laughs> I guess we're gonna get a teleporter somewhere. Too bad we can't pick up the shovel. Was there anything else that we need, or not need, but break down here? Oh, here, here's a new one. Flint corn. Okay, start with the normal one. The goal is to make all kernels the same. No. <laughs> Uh, all the kernels the same color within the indicated number of- Oh, so it's not like the light one. Changing a kernel's, changing a kernel's color will affect every other kernel the same color touching it. Okay, let's try it. So there are two moves. Let's see if I get this right. Oh, so, uh... Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. So it's nothing like the lights one. Although we can't do it like this. Oh yeah, we can. We just have to make it one color. It doesn't have to be like the yellow or the brown or the red. It's just one color. Oh, that's not, that's not too bad compared to the lights one. <laughs> Let's do heart. All right, the five moves this time. Hmm. I'm thinking. One. Two. 
Three. I already lost this one. <laughs> yeah, I already lost this one. Hmm. So I think the goal, I think the plan is to get the red first, maybe? One, two, and then three, four. Ah, oh, we're one off. Hmm. So maybe do this. We save the red for last, maybe? Well, because we're still touching yellow, so we can do yellow first. And then three, four, and oh no! I, oh, I wish I wish there was like a undo like one step because I I saw what I did wrong. So we got that. And this is three. Now we're touching all red, so we can do red first. Then we're wait. You know what? Hmm. That's interesting. I totally forgot. Hmm. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not closer to the answer than I thought I was. So maybe do red first. This color. No, there's still. Maybe I'm just starting off in the wrong. Maybe I shouldn't start with this. Maybe I don't know. Oh, hard is hard is actually hard. Like <laughs> a step up from normal. So let's do, cause I feel like this touches the most. It touches this, this, this. Hmm. So maybe start from here? That, that just, that seems bad. One, two, three. Or yeah, that, that's that's it's so hard. <laughs> see ya. Let's see how bad or not how bad how stupid hard it is. Still five moves, but there's five colors as well. Hmm. Yeah. Don't know. We're, we're just gonna, to, we're just gonna go to we're, we're gonna go to normal. <laughs> this one has four, but we have three. So let's see what we can do. Let's do one, two, three, four. <laughs> normal, normal is like so much easier than hard oh, on this one. So let's, maybe it was just a one. Let's try hard again. So this one has four moves, okay. It is a different design, it's a different pattern. Let's do... One... Two, so that covers all of the... Red and dark brown now. And I'm touching all the yellow, so we can do yellow. Then we can do this. That was easier! Why was, why was the other one so much harder? <laughs> So we, let's do another hard so we can to get the rest of the batteries. So this one requires six moves. Okay. So maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we did it. So we got all six batteries from this location. Colored corn cannot carry canisters of current conti uh, current continuously. No more batteries. Way to go, me. But I think that was the one. But there is a wall here as well. Where does this go? This goes. To, oh, this goes here. Interesting. So let's check out. Oh no, this was blocked off by the. That was blocked up by the lock, so we can't check it out. 
This one also is locked on. So I guess the next thing is to actually check out the next area. Hmm. Is there anything else that we can break? We can break this down. We get a token. That's a big chair. The life care chair is pretty much the adult equivalent of the baby high chair. We like to be high up. Oh, will I have enough tokens to get everything? Oh, we got a key. We need one more. We need one more. Alright, what's this? 25 batteries. We have 42. Oh, that's, that's a fancy flamingo. Someone wrote a message on the backside of this flamingo. The magic words are squeamish, squeamish, ossified. I don't know how to pronounce that. You can sit down on a chair. <laughs> I don't know what the significance I think it's an achievement related to it, but. Oh. We can actually go to that room if we wanted to, but let's not. Right, so there's an open can of mayonnaise here with a straw. Oh, can a psychopath would drink mayo out of a jar through a straw? Oh, uncle. Wait a minute, there seems to be a token lodge in this jar. Oh, that, well, that was gross, but it looked like I want token. Oh, there's color Sudoku, nice. Cross the pool, not saw. Okay, let's loop around. Start from our, the bottom, work our way up, and we can actually buy all the stuff. We can buy all the stuff from the machine. So let's buy this. Looks like the pool won't be getting my way anymore, unless if the unless if the hint chip is unlimited. Yeah, so it seems like the hint chip is unlimited, so I'm not going to buy anymore. Hopefully that doesn't. Hopefully there's like an abundance of tokens, so. I didn't actually mess myself up. <laughs> we'll see though. Let's do zoning. What is zoning? The goal is to place down, place walls down to divide the land into multiple zones with three tiles in each zone. That seems easy. Wait, three tiles in each zone? Or three, three different tiles? Uh, the goal is to place walls down to divide the land into multiple zones with three tiles in How is that hard? It's, uh, like, it doesn't have to be... It's, it does, I don't think it has to be of the same type of tile, right? Why can't we just do it like this? Unless I'm missing something. All right. Place walls down to divide the land into multiple zones with three tiles in each zone. Oh, there's more. Each zone should have its tiles all connected and ha oh yeah, <laughs> that probably that probably would that probably would help. Let's let's reset. Like I had a feeling it had to be unique. So. So, I mean, that makes it a little bit easier, I think. Because this way I can actually... Oh, never mind. It's a little bit harder now. <laughs> so, where do we start? So, the, the, these two can't be connected, so this has to be like this. So then... There has to be a wall here. We do. We, I mean, we can, we can do this logically because, we, we, like, based off the rules, you can't have the same tiles within each within the same zone. If that makes sense. So we're just gonna put dividers up between the sames. <laughs> so it kind of looks like this. Which is fine. Then we have to do it like this. So this is done. This is for this is for certain. So we can either go this way or we can go this way. Same with this. 
So then... This... We can't do it like this. And we can't do it like this. So this has to be like this. Alright, so we're, we're, we're getting there. Just had to take this logically instead of just <laughs> sectioning it off into just pieces of three. Alright, so we can go up or we can go straight. Let's see, we can do it this way as well. Let's try it like this. There we go. Huh? Huh? Uh, not, I mean, it's it's not hard. It's just time consuming. <laughs> I'll probably do this on my own time after I record. <laughs> but interesting, interesting stuff. So that's zoning. We also got flamingo, more like a flamingo. <laughs> the duck one, the duck placing. The goal is to place all sixteen ducks on the grid so that each duck has some feature in common with its neighbors. Okay. Ducks only need to have something in common with other ducks that are horizontally horizontally or vertically adjacent. Cool. Okay. So that means we can do like So th there's no there's only one other with a tie. And then there's one only one Oh, there's two more with the eyes like that. So or color. I think colors work too. We can do like this. And we have the cool eye. Like it only has to have some feature. Color, eyes, neck, or hat. So we can do this. Nothing else has the propeller tail except for this one. We have an eye patch, we have an eye patch, gray hat, gray hat, bow tie, top hat. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of different solutions to this. We can just do it like this. So they all have the fedora. I think. Like, does, is that not solved? The goal is to place all 16 ducks on the grid so that each duck has some feature in common with its neighbors. Ducks only need to have something in common with other ducks that are horizontally or vertically adjacent. Normal ducks all have two neighbors. Okay. One hint will place... Oh, so I mean... Am I not... Doing this right? Color, eyes, not cat. It looks like I'm doing this right, but. So we got color, eyes, a hat, got neck, hat, color, eyes, color, everything, to. Hat, hat, color. So I guess it's, oh, it's this one. No, no, color. Oh, it's, it's these two, it's these two. Because I swapped out these, okay, I get it, I get it. So, that can't be there. Do we have an eye patch somewhere? We do have an eye patch somewhere. Right here. There we go. <laughs> I, was, I was like, well, I was wondering where, where did I have something else wrong? <laughs> okay, cool. So that's duck placing. Oh, there's a terminal here. If you ever make it across to the other side of the pool, there's an informant there who will be your guide. He's wearing a hat. Oh, I forgot the. <laughs> it's been a while. So let's swim. Oh, we move so slow. 
one we have to use the the ladder. Hint. Robot engine. Oh, so it's a robot. I mean, the color suit. There's a lot of stuff in this area. All right, what is it? Squeamish ossifrage. I'm gonna actually write this down on on my phone here, so I I don't get the, so I get the spelling right. So squeamish. Squeamish. S Q U E A. M I S H. And then os. Hopefully, I don't have to do capitals. I don't think capitals matter in the terminals. All right. Let's go back and unlock the thing. I don't feel like, like I wonder if walking around will be faster. Probably not. <laughs> I'm still missing one key. That's cool. I like. I should remember it. it. It hasn't been too long. Squeamish. That's a fresh. There we go. What's in the chest? Is it the rare brown eyes play dragon platinum card? No, it's just tokens. Okay. So we did the mushrooms, we did the duck. Let's try the robot. The goal is to light up all the LEDs on the circuit board by placing the pro all the provided chips down correctly. LEDs require all inputs to be true. Each chip has a boolean operation that it will execute on its two input signals. Blue wires give an input value of true, and red wires give an input value of false. And outputs true only if both are true. So yeah. An OR outputs true only if at least one input is true. X OR outputs true only if exactly one input is true. Outputs tr oh this is confusing. <laughs> it's outputs true if only both inputs are false. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can read this in the thing. Alright. So this goes to this. Because that is that. And which one was the false? Both are false? Output's true if both inputs are false. So it's NOR? Oh, we don't have NOR. So X NOR. Output's true only if both inputs are the same. Okay, X OR. Output's true only if exactly one input is true. Do like this. Oh no, but we have to put false at some point. Hmm. Okay. So this one is okay. There we go. So the light bulbs require all inputs to be true. Sure. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> oh, we're... Wait, what? Oh, so we have to talk to him after to do more. Oh man, what happened? I was guarding some lights and then guarded them into the pool or something. Are you, are you the lifeguard then? Yeah. Totally guard life. I'm one of the Wernicke's secure bot 5000s. Oh, so security guard? Why are we in the pool? I'm like, I came here to get a tan. Duh. But then I thought, hey, no lifeguard here swim? I can be a lifeguard here. That'd be rad. I think the term is lifeguard. No way, far out. Well, hey, you like a bodacious pain. What brings you to the pool? Batteries, I guess. Right on. You can ask me for more if you want. And hey, there's like an entrance to the basement somewhere around here. You should check it out. I already found it. <laughs> this gate is only lowered to those with open minds who are capable of completely inverting their worldviews. Come back when you're open minded. How do we open our mind? Hmm. 
there has to be a trick to this, right? Or a cube of completely inverting their worldviews. Huh. To enter any English word that starts with... Name any English word that starts with D-O-S. Dose. <laughs> One hint. Okay. There exists another word world beyond your own. It is known as the real world. What month is it in this world? I mean, if it's the real world. Sure. X marks the spot. Spot. I can't read. So how do we invert our world view? Right click? Right click? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I guess for the last part for this video. Oh, there's still two. So let's. Oh, I didn't mean to jump in. So let's try the Sudoku. I wonder if it's like Picross. Color Sudoku. Fill an I mind nine grid with colors on each row. So no, I am I'm way off. I was thinking of something else. <laughs> All right, I do like Sudoku, but this is just Sudoku, just with colors, because we can also switch it with numbers too. So I think personally, it will be faster for me if I do numbers. So this here two is missing. So or no, not two. So let's do. Uh, can I reset? Yeah, reset. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this has to be eight. This has to be three. One. This has to be two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three. Since there's three here. Oh no, never mind. Can I clear? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six. So has to be here. Seven has to be here. Six has to be here. So that means five is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not solvable yet. What's next? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. What else can we do? Two, four, four, four. So then four is here. I know Sudoku's very exciting. <laughs> Four, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So once it's all clear, it's cleared out, <laughs> which is good. All right, so we got nine. That's still not good enough. Let's do three, maybe. So this is blocked. Hmm. Three, 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 three. Let's do. So uh, I think that's all we can do for threes. So one, two, or two, three, four, five. I think that's it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One. Hmm. That's not that's not working yet. So you need one. Two, three, four, five. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six is here. Like, in this section, 
the, all the stuff for normal isn't really that hard. It's like I said in the earlier one, it's just time consuming. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four. That's, that's no. Seven, seven, seven. Seven's done. One, two. Two's done. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this one we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And nine's here. Then nine's here. So that means one's here. One's here. One's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one, two, three. Three's done, yay. So I can do five. And eight's, we still need eight as well. Eight here, eight here, one, six, no, no, eight, six, and six, five, five. I mean, it's not difficult, it's just time consuming. Alright, let's check out, let's check out this puzzle. Cross the pool, oh no, it's not actually, it's not actually a, like difficulty selector like said actual thing. So maybe we'll do that in the next one. There's also Oh I didn't mean to do that. Yes, I mean to the mansion. Oh great, it's locked. And <laughs> it doesn't look like a bolt cutter or a sledgehammer will help either. Oh you got the basement, so Yeah, we'll do this and then head off to the basement. That's not creepy at all. So yeah, hope you enjoy this. Until next time. I know like like I said, a lot of long puzzles, but there's a good variety of them, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this until next time. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.